Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of UCU Sports Daily. I am your host, Iana Sabo, bringing you the latest information concerning university sports and far beyond. Uh, there are 10 days left to the East African Games. The University East African Games are supposed to be scheduled at Indeja University from 16th to 21st December. And everything seems to be coming to us to an end in terms of preparations, getting ready for the tournament, having a few teams uh, registered and beating the deadlines associated with, with the tournament. So I'm just going to, on this episode of UC Sports Daily, I'm just going to bring you a few facts as we head towards the tournament and bring on more previews as the days, we count, keep on counting the other days till we reach in Indeje. I'll be there and Indeje to provide you with daily information regarding, regarding the games, all the results, fixtures, and everything in between. So we are going to expect over 3,000 student athletes at, uh, at Indeji University for the East African Games. And it is going to be quite a heavy number in terms of participants going to participate. This is the first tournament, remember, that, has, that, has, that is going to take place uh, from tw all the way back in 2019 when it was last held in, in Dodoma. So 3,000 students are going to be able to participate in 21 different disciplines, including football, basketball, tennis, uh, volleyball, swimming, you name it. Uh, 21 disciplines are going to, uh, th over 3,000 students are going to take part in, in, in 21 disciplines. So we have universities coming all over East Africa. Uh, as of today, there are 48 registered universities coming all the way from Uganda, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, in Uganda, you have the big hitters in UCU, the hosts in Deje, you have uh, Makere University, Kenya, you get to have the University of Nairobi, Kenyatta University, uh, Mount Kenya University, all bringing students and competitions supposed to participate in, and supposed to participate in these games. Tanzania have representatives of the University of Udoma and, and many more. There are 48 universities coming and this definitely is going to be a festival in terms of uh, university students because this is the one level or the last level that that you find athletes participating w with the same uh the same age 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 groups and you know it's it's basically the last stage before anyone maybe can go professional so it's it's quite interesting to, to find out in these university games who is the man in, in terms of in terms of various sports going to be going to going to take part so I was able to get some few numbers, and it turns out that the hosts in Deju University are actually going to enter the most participants in the competition. Around uh, 379 student athletes in different competitions are going to take, play, take part from Ndeje. And then representing Kenya with the most students is the United States International University. Remember that was where the 3-on-3 three three, uh, FISU games were held last November, in which uh, UCU got to take the gold in terms of both the ladies and gents category that booked them a ticket to the University World Games in, in Turkey. That was uh, a few weeks back. So United States International University with 234 student athletes representing. And and yes, you, the more chances or the more athletes the university can be able to bring, maybe that's the more chances they are at getting the gold and winning the overall, overall uh, competition. So big up to the universities that are delivering with uh, with a lot of students going to make it through so that is all i have for today in terms of uh, updates on the U university east african games from ndeje i'll keep on bringing you more information as we keep on counting down the days towards the big festival uh, my name is yana sabo and till another episode godspeed